Okay, so I came across some really amazing and important data that I feel like is imperative for me to share, and it is regarding young people, specifically my generation, Generation Z. So this is an uh, article from NBC. I'm going to give you not the entire article, but a bit of a mouthful here, but I think that everything that I'm about to say is incredibly important. So the title of the article is, Young People Are Over Democrats and Republicans. New data show what that means for 2022. So uh, the article goes as follows. Losing Virginia's governor race isn't the only development from Tuesday's elections that has Democrats concerned heading into a vital midterm year. Turnout amongst their youngest, most progressive voters was down by the by stunning numbers in an otherwise high turnout gubernatorial race. The share of votes coming from Virginians under the age of 30 was just 10 percent. According to preliminary NBC News exit polls last November, the same age group accounted for 20 percent of Virginia votes. Initial uh, estimates based on the exit polling indicate voter turnout among adults under 30 dropped by approximately 62 percent in Virginia from 20 from 2020 to 2021, compared to a 15 percent drop among uh, voters o over the age of 30. It's a warning sign as well as a bit of a paradox for Democrats. Gen Zers voters more likely than any other generation to support Democratic candidates, according to Pew, are also now the voters most likely to say they no longer support the job performance of President Joe Biden, other established Democrat leaders. Wow. Data on young voter turnout in September's California uh, recall election recently obtained by NBC LX also re revealed a substantial drop. Turnout among voters under 30 fell by approximately 48 percent compared to the 2020 presidential election. The share of ballots from those young adults fell to just 12 percent of the electorate, down from 17 percent last year or last November, according to the California Secretary of State's office. And even though overall turnout for the recall election was down 28 percent from 2020's presidential race, the drop off among voters under 30, which was 48 percent, was four times higher and the drop off among voters over the age of 60, which was only 12 percent. The turnout numbers, as well as recent polling, suggest Democrats may be suffering due to young progressives frustrations over the glacial uh, space of progress of progress in fulfilling Biden's campaign promises on social programs, climate change and civil rights. While the young voter drop off didn't stop Newsom from surviving his recall election by a 24 point margin, Democrats trying to preserve their narrow eight seat House majority don't feel like they have any room for error in 2022. Democrats are going to face devastating consequences in the midterm elections if we do not live for the people, said Representative Mondaire Jones, one of the youngest members of Congress at 34 years old. Most people intuitively believe that when a party has unified control of the federal government, including majorities in both parties of Congress, that they should be able to act swiftly, especially on the priorities that they campaigned on. Well said. Only 43% of Gen Z voters approve of President Biden's job performance compared to 40 or 51% of millennials, 46% of Generation X, and 45% of baby boomers, according to an October poll from Morning Consult and Politico. For Generation Z, that represents a nearly 20-point drop among approval when 62% of adults gave Biden, uh, or 18 through 24 gave Biden the thumbs up compared to 59% of millennials and 51% of Gen Xers and baby boomers. Polls ahead of California recall election showed similar dissatisfaction among young voters for Governor Newsom, despite him frequently being painted as too liberal by conservatives in other parts of the country. And a recent poll from the Economic and YouGov revealed only 36% of voters under 30 said they considered Biden liberal, the lowest of any age group uh, polled. Only 24% considered him honest and trustworthy. Wow. So what I'm about to do now is just read you a couple of facts. I'm going to skip around a bit, uh, but, but I think this is absolutely amazing. Uh, young voters are increasingly dissatisfied with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Her approval rating among Gen Z voters is 23 percent. It's far lower than any other generation. So, so Gen Z hates Nancy Pelosi and rightfully so because she's fucking terrible. A Harvard Kennedy School survey earlier this year found 
36% of Americans under 30 say they're politically active compared to just 24% immediately after President Obama's first election in 2020. So more people under the age of 30 are politically active now than it was under Obama. And they're uh, being active on social media like TikTok, Twitter, etc. So what does this tell you? What does this tell you? It tells you what I pretty much always known. And this is easy for me to kind of talk about and relate to because I am a part <laughs> of this uh, group that, they, that they're outlining. Uh, younger voters that are becoming very or ever so more increasingly frustrated with these people that uh, are supposed to serve us and do what we want and they never do. Let me explain something to you about young voters. Young voters are different. You know, uh, the older voters, you know, people uh, over the age of, I'd say, I don't know, 40, 50 or so, uh, probably 50, or probably old people over the age of 50, they have this old school mentality of thinking. And what I mean by that is they view voting, they view casting their vote, going to the ballot box as a civic duty. They, they look at that as something that, that, that they have to do under any circumstance it is their duty to cast their vote no matter what, the situation or the factors going into it. Younger voters, not so much. We don't see it as a, our duty to go vote for you just because you asked. The only way you're going to get our vote is if there's something we feel like we're voting for. If you're not offering anything, if there's nothing that appeals to us, if you can't get us up our, uh, off of our ass, to go to the polls, then we're not gonna vote. We, we don't, we don't, younger people don't look at it that way. They don't look at it as, oh, you know, I have to vote because I just have to, I just do. No, they're like, dude, if you're not giving healthcare, jobs, higher wages, whatever, then there's no reason for me to go vote for you. There's absolutely no reason. And younger people are overwhelmingly progressive. As I just outlined that article, they are the most likely to actually vote Democrat, but they're the most uh, that are becoming increasingly distrust or, or their distrust among the Democrats are is increasing. I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal what this uh, uh, data outlines. It's absolutely amazing. Younger people care much more about the issues. They do. And they want radical change and they want it fast. You see, the older generation, they're kind of like, oh, yeah, you know, let's ease into change if they want it. A lot of older people don't really, they're afraid of change. Young people are like, nah, we're head first. We're going into this. We're ready to go. Things need to change. I don't like my situation. We want change and we want it now. And that's the sentiment that's going on among young people. And Joe Biden and the Democrats, they can deal with this. There's ways they can reach out to young people. What are, what are uh, young, a lot of young people? Students, college students. What happens when you go to college? You get a lot of debt. Joe Biden can wipe out student loan debt. That'd make young people come and vote for him. He could legalize marijuana. That would for sure appeal to the younger generation. I mean, it's absolutely insane. There's answers here, okay? They are, you know, the biggest critiquers of capitalism in our present society. It's young people. They're questioning things, okay? Because it's like they know, well, in the future, we're going to have to be the ones to deal with all the fuck-ups that the current people in power are making. And so they're trying to kind of get us on the right track here. But look, man, here it is. I mean, this is no surprise. I've been knowing this. As I said, I can easily relate. Um, simply because I'm included in this, but man, young people are, uh, it, we're not, we're not hard to get, you know, if you get somebody, why do you think a lot of young people support Bernie? Because he talks about policy. He's actually offering things. And that's all you have to do in order to get us to come out and vote for you. But our politicians are incredibly corrupt and they refuse to do that every chance they get.